everyone, today I just wanted to show you how to restore a Bible or a book and decorate it. <laughs> um, the sun is going down quickly, so uh, let's go. So first up you're going to need the Bible. This one's very broken, um, so hopefully it will look nice by the end. Uh, a palette to put your paints on, do all your mixing, some paint brushes and a pot of water and of course some paints and if you want to do some writing in gold then make sure you have that, <laughs> otherwise that would be orcs. And um, a hot glue gun to glue all the broken bits of that book slash bible together. So there you go, just start fixing it all together. Um, remember that hot glue gun glue dries very quick, so if you literally don't stick it down that second, it's going to dry and it's not going to stick. So, try that again. It's fine, have patience. Patience is a virtue. No problem. <laughs> Just make sure it's nice and gluey, make glue sin and sticky make sticker sin. So this Bible, the spine was actually fall. The whole Bible was falling apart, to be honest. Um, and so, yeah, just make sure that everything is glued, stuck on nice and neatly, because it will be very, very annoying to have to glue it all back together once you've done painting. Uh, so just make sure it's all stuck down, stick, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, and then just cut off all the extra like threads and bits that are sticking off and hanging out and just neaten up, you know? Like a little garden. It's like a little garden in the Bible, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and then we're going to start with a base of some white. Uh, so usually I do about two coats, sometimes three if if I need to do three. <laughs> um, but just play it by ear. You'll know what I'm talking about, you know? Um, so then I like to squeeze out all the paints that I'm going to use um, and I just go ahead and start painting. So this Bible I'm going to do in an African sunset theme. Um, so I'm going to start with all these light blues and some light shading up at the top. Um, sunsets are quite good and easy to do because it's not specific, you know, every sunset is different. Um, and yeah um so just do whatever type of sunset you want you can do purpley sky orangey sky um i mean you know what sunsets looks like so just take your pick um and don't be afraid to be bold especially if you're doing an african sunset you have to be bold so just get them get them reds and splash them and do everything you know but also remember that white is your best friend because you might get a bit too daring, but then you can always just go over it in white and... Oh, that was my watch telling me that it's two o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. Add some orange because every sunset needs a bit of orange, let's be honest. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Dash, dash, dash. Ooh, ooh, whoa, that's very bright. Yep, lighten that up a little there, Katie. <laughs> there we go, that's nice. I'm liking it, nice and bold. Right, and so here I'm just about to do a little hazy sun. Ooh, very artistic, yes, very, very artistic. Hmm, yes, yeah, sun, sun, sun. And I believe I'm going to do it again. <laughs> because we want to make sure you can see it. And circle, concentration, done. Right, and so here um, I'm doing the landscape. Uh, so to avoid it being all like black, bold silhouette, I like to add some shading in. So just use the colours that you've used for the sun, so like some reds and stuff and add some accents. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some little trees because Africa has trees. Um, <clears throat> so you can do as many trees or as little trees as you would like. Uh, you could also, if you're feeling really brave, do like a, a silhouette of a giraffe or a little hut or something, I don't know. 
take your pick. And then you can go and decide what text you want to put on it. So this Bible is actually a guise. Um, so for guys, I do less cursive stuff and more not cursive stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> and because it's an African theme, I'm going to do a little outline of Africa, just on the spine, because I think it looks pretty. <laughs> and then I like to write the Holy Bible. Um, and usually I write the person's name at the bottom. I mean, you can choose if you want that or not. And then on the front, I'm going to write Abide in Christ. So that's pretty much it. A nice, quick example of a painted Bible. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in getting one, please do message me. I will leave a uh, um, link in the description box below. And all of the funds that I receive are going towards a mission trip to Belize with an organisation called YWAM. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Not today, Satan, I'm immune to your temptation Not today, not today, Satan